guys, Smasher Gaming here. Welcome to Brawl Stars ASMR. I wanted to try out something different on the channel. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and if you do, please hit the like button down below. And if you are out new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. So in this video, we're going to be talking about all of the brawlers and how to use them. Shelly is the very first brawler that you get in the game. She is a close range shotgun brawler. She does a lot of damage up close. She has pretty decent range and can poke enemies from a distance. But the most deadliest thing about her is her super. Because... If you're a tank, you're pretty much dead. Nita is the next brawler that you will get. You unlock Nita when you hit 10 trophies in the trophy road. She's a medium range brawler that has a somewhat of a fast reload speed. Her bear can be quite annoying if it has hyper bear. She's really good in heist. Sorry for the invite. Colt is a long-range brawler that can be unlocked at 60 trophies. He can be good in a couple of modes, mainly Brawl Ball and Heist are his best modes. He's also pretty decent in Bounty. Bull is the next brawler, and you unlock him by reaching 100, or never mind, sorry, 250 trophies. His best mode is Heist by far. He can also be really good in Brawl Ball. Now Jessie can be unlocked at 500 trophies. She is one of the most unique brawlers with her shots bouncing off of enemies on contact. She has a turret that can deal an annoying amount of damage. And with her gadget, it's absolutely devastating. Brock is one of the longest ranges in the game. His best two modes are Bounty and Heist. He can also be pretty decent in Brawl Ball and Gem Grab, and also really good in Showdown. Dynamite can be unlocked at 2,000 trophies. He is one of the hardest brawlers to use in the game with his high skill cap, being Dyna Jump. His best mode is Heist. He can also be really good in Brawl Ball and Gem Grab. Bo is a unique brawler because his star powers are really good, especially Circling Eagle if you are playing on Snake Prairie. His mines can be pretty easy to dodge, but if you don't know where the bow placed them, then you're most likely going to get hit. We all know that Tick is one of the most annoying brawlers in the game. He has incredibly long range, but his slow reload speed makes up for his annoying damage. His super can also be pretty deadly. In my opinion, 8-Bit is one of the worst brawlers in the game. His best mode is Showdown. I'm not even going to talk about M's. Now Primo is really underwhelming right now. He's not really good. He's pretty good in Brawl Ball if you have um, Meteor Rush. Other than that, he's not that good. Barley is really good. <laughs> There's nothing else to say about that. Poco has one of the most annoying gadgets in the game and the best star power in the game. Pair him up with two tanks and you'll be unstoppable. There's nothing to say about Rosa. Rico just got a new skin today. Rico has really long range and annoying damage, but what makes him good is Robo Retreat. With his fast movement speed, there's really no way of killing him. Daryl is really good with Steel Hoops now. People said that that star power was trash after he got its massive nerf. But turns out it's a really good star power. Penny is good in Brawl Ball, Heist, Hot Zone, and Siege. Gem Grab, she could be a pretty decent gem carrier. And other than that, she's a pretty decent brawler overall. Carl needs a buff. Jack. 
Jackie is one of the best tanks in the game. She can counter a lot of brawlers. Other than that, I'd say she's fine, except for Gadget. Piper has the longest range in the game. It's really hard to dodge her shots. Well, actually, no. It's really easy. Fun fact. Piper has the slowest reload speed in the game. Pim is a good brawler because she has annoying chip damage. And she's a tank. Her healing turret is really good because of her gadget. Frank, over 10,000 health. Nothing else to say. BB can just go Naruto on you and knock you into infinity with her home run. B with overpowered damage after she hits you is really annoying. Plus, Archvillain B is a really cool skin in my opinion. That's going to be coming into the game really soon. Buff Mortis, please. He's one of the worst brawlers in the game. Unless if you know how to use Mortis effectively, then I'd say he's alright. Tara's gadget is really good in Snake Prairie and Cavern Churn. But in my opinion... She's really good in Brawl Ball and Gem Grab. Gene is really strong right now, especially if you have his Spirit Slap Star power. He's arguably one of the best gym carriers in Brawl Stars, with this massive area of control. Max can just go Naruto and speed around the map, giving her teammates a lot of time to kill the enemy. Mr. Beast's spawners are annoying as heck. Sprout stupidest brawler in the game. I feel like he should have never been created in the first place. Spike is arguably one of the most versatile brawlers in the game. With his curveball star power, he can actually be really good. Crow's gadget basically makes him Rosa 2.0. Combining with extra toxic makes him almost unstoppable. Once Leon goes invis and it is on your butt, there's nothing you can really do. Sandy's damage buff is making him the best brawler in the game. Kale is very underwhelming and I feel like he needs a buff. So, 